Hi, I'm Lisa from Masu Mulerum. We are very conscious about the effect that single-use plastic and other disposable products have on our environment. Before we can change the world, we have to take a close look at ourselves and what we can do to reduce our unnecessary waste of resources. We're not by any means perfect, but we do try to change our habits one by one and replace them with more environmentally friendly ones. In this video, we'll show you some of the habits that we have changed and things that we've learned along the way. We are Andy and Lisa, a musician and an illustrator. This is where all our crazy ideas come together. Welcome to the Sur We have made reusable produce bags that we take with us when shopping to avoid the use of plastic bags. Wherever possible, we choose loose fruit and vegetables, put them in our own bags and shopping bags. No single-use plastic. We have also made reusable vegetable fresh bags, not only to avoid storing in plastic bags, but to make our vegetables last much longer in the fridge. Click on the link above or in the description below to see how to make these vegetable fresh bags. One of the things we have changed is the way we make coffee and tea. We had a pot-based coffee maker and became very aware that for every cup of coffee we produced a plastic coffee pot to throw away. What a waste! So we bought a mocha pot and have ever since made the most wonderful coffee the old-fashioned way. Admittedly, it does take a little more effort and a little more cleaning, but it's well worth it for the environment. We used to compost our tea bags, but we noticed that they didn't compost completely. That's when we learned that there's plastic in most tea bags. Really? So we bought some metal tea infusers and started using loose leaf tea. It's quite easy and save us buying tea bags that create plastic waste. We have a pot on the countertop to empty the used tea into. This eventually gets emptied into the compost bin. Then a quick rinse onto the tap and the infuser is ready for the next cup of tea. The water also prevents tea dust from going everywhere. It is a few years ago now that we became a no paper towel household. I started by ripping some old pajamas into paper towel sized pieces and put them in a basket to use instead. We then just put each piece into the laundry basket after use and put it in whatever hot wash was next. But it did fill our newly washed clothes with thousands of loose threads that I then had to pick off. I ran each cloth through my overlocker to etch them. This did the trick and we have not looked back since. We love the system, it works really well and we have not bought a kitchen roll in years. Once in a while a cloth becomes so dirty that it does no longer get clean in the wash. When that happens, I mark them with a sharpie dot in each corner and these cloths go into the dirty cloth bin to be used for the dirty spills like oil, glue, soil and grime. Some will still be washed in a work clothes wash and we use for the tougher jobs. Others will just be thrown out at this stage. Following the same trend, I had one issue that I really wanted to tackle. I really thought I had chosen the best environmentally friendly brand of wet wipes. I mean, they're labeled pure, it says 99% pure water, no perfume on them, and skin-loving natural fibers. All designed to make you think that these wipes are all natural and good for you and the environment. However, on a closer inspection, it turns out that these wipes are 35% plastic to prevent them from tearing. So more than a third of this pack is single-use plastic. I'm not comfortable putting that in my waste bin. I decided to make reusable cloth wipes. The kitchen cloths that I like the best are the ones made from old pyjamas, but I was quickly running out of those, so I bought two designs of inexpensive brushed cotton online. I bought these see-through boxes so we can have each our own personal wet wipes in the bathroom. I washed the fabric first and then cut it into 21 by 21 centimeter pieces. That's a little over 8 by 8 inches, which I etched on the overlocker.
I have found it best to moisten the wipes before placing them in the boxes. I fold them into quarters, stack them and place them in a container. Using one liter of pure filtered water with five drops each of lavender and chamomile essential oils, I then pour it over the wipes. I turn them a few times to make sure they are soaked all the way through. Then I place them in the two clear boxes. The reusable wet wipes are now ready to use. Many people who are using cloth wipes or mama wipes use a separate dirty box containing water with tea tree and lemon oils to store the used wipes until washing. As we are just the two, we don't do a suitable wash often enough and I don't like to store wet used wipes for that long. We have made our own system where we just rinse the used cloths under the tap and hang them on this little drying rack that we have under the sink. When they are dry, we just put them in the laundry basket until wash day. This works for us, but of course you can choose whatever system works for you. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, give us a like. Please subscribe to our channel, it's completely free. And if you hit the little bell icon, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. And remember, in a world where you can be anything, be kind.